And I thought I'd just show you a couple of the otter tools in the collection. I seen uh, one of the other guys kind of show these Eiffel geared uh, pliers. If you, they kind of almost act like a little bit of an adjustable crescent wrench or a pipe wrench where you can adjust the jaws and then it acts like a pliers the rest of the way it also has you know a cut off there so these are the eight and a half uh, 41's and as uh, it says on there it's five dollars back uh, when it was uh, manufactured by the American Player Ranch uh, Corporation of Chicago. If uh, one of, or if anybody is interested in kind of what I what I found is you know when I was getting ready to try to grill or drill the uh, chuck jaws is you know I've seen a lot of guys you know building their own. Uh, holders for uh, for the things um, but I f was just doing some uh, searching around and I had originally seen you know some of my uh, grinders and kind of seen the neck on it and I kind of thought uh, it'd be kind of neat if the uh, if the boring bar holder that I had with my BXA set uh, could hold them I found it really couldn't because the one I had was the, the wrong size and then I also got one where I got it the right size but the neck was too short so I did some searching and I was able to actually find a one that um, and it's called like a long neck or an extended neck uh, die grinder that was actually three quarters of an inch uh, straight um, and not tapered and so it would actually fit and just barely into the BXA holder because it can it can take up through a three quarters with the uh, sleeve in it and then you know it can hook to the uh, tool post and uh, got a decent grinder that I can use uh, anyway and then also you know an easy way to hold it when using it on the lathe. A couple bucks, looks weird. I don't know for sure what it's used for. It kind of, I don't know if it's homemade, but it looks kind of the same. And it's got a, a, a closed pin kind of uh, hinge in here. And the points are pretty good. So, don't know what for sure what it's used for, but I thought it kind of looked cool. And this thing here, um, if you can't see, because uh, I know it, it may be a little dark in here, but this, uh, this piece here is round. And this one here, uh, that would be concave. And, um, I found out at the local or the Midwest Tool Collectors uh, Association uh, national meeting when they were showing there, one of the guys had something similar. And as long as it's the uh, the same thing, it's actually a hair roller. Um, back before you had the uh, heated uh, or electrically heated uh, curling irons. <coughs> They could warm uh, this up here, you know, put their hair in, curl it up. Thought that was kind of neat. And this thing here kind of looks dangerous, but uh, let's see if I can zoom in on it a little bit here. The I spend uh, sometimes way too much time on eBay, but this thing uh, kind of caught my caught my eye here. Um, it's in a it's in my BXA holder here, so that didn't come. But more or less, uh, you know, it has a bar, and on the back side, you know, there is a 
a round uh, notched out plate that is welded to this bar and you have a top round plate here too and sandwiched in between on a arbor and in this case it's a one inch arbor in this case a one inch arbor here you know cut notched off here is a is a milling cutter a side mill I believe it's you know they're called side mill cutters and the same as uh, you would use on you know your horizontal lathe or I would assume you know you could even use like a slitting saw or, or something like that in there and I don't know what I'll use it for or what will end up uh, being good other than a discussion piece but you can index it here they got various they must have various sizes they just made it so you can index on some of the teeth. I thought if I had the, the reason I kind of picked it up was one, like I said, because it was strange. Probably a little bit too much, but sometimes curiosity uh, overwhelms it. But like I said, it's just a plate that had been bought or welded. And the. Uh, Cutter goes on, you know, your top plate, and then your the thing. But I thought that you know, as you know, especially you know, if, if any of the milling colors would break a teeth, you know, there's always all of the other teeth that that you could use. And I'd actually just tried it out on a on a little piece, you know, using the thing here almost like a cutoff tool or a groove tool. But um, the main reason that it uh, kind of appealed to me is that I found that I had seen a lot of uh, the mill cutters that uh, had radiuses on them. And I thought in order to, you know, kind of cut radiuses and, and different things that, you know, if the tool worked, that it may be you know something cool to uh, to uh, try out, um, and just kind of you know you would have your uh, your grooved uh, piece here, or your grooved uh, uh, gear, or your <laughs> your uh, gear, or your take five your mill cutter that has the uh, radius on it as long as you can get the the radius the right direction that uh, you could use that on the uh, on the lathe <laughs>